Hello ladies and gentlemen, MD Fashion Co. Doc Collectibles here, and today I'd like to make a video about why everybody who wants to play Aliens Fireteam Elite at a high level, talking extreme and above, should play Gunner. But first, roll the intro! He had a dream to play Aliens Fireteam. He collects themes. He's got high self-esteem. He's credible. He's unforgettable. He's commendable. He's MD Fashion Code Dog Collectibles. Okay. I was having a discussion with a gentleman who was in this game. It was the White Wolf, and the White Wolf played with me in that 3-3 Extreme video that I did. We beat the pathogens on 3-3 on Extreme using a team comp which I believe was the best team comp we could have possibly used, of Technician, Demo, and Demo. Now, that's one mission in the entire game where you fight only pathogens. You don't fight Xenos, you don't fight Synths. And in that situation, we had to come up with a unique strategy. But don't get it twisted. For every other mission in the game, except one, so all the other... 10 or so missions, or 11 or so missions, you should play two gunners minimum. Now that is a very, very bold statement. Why would I say you, if you want to play at the highest level, be the absolute best, you need two gunners? Why, why would I say that? Well, the fact of the matter is, this is a game of firepower, and when something is in front of you, getting it out of in front of you as quickly as you possibly can is the objective and that's the only way you're going to survive now you could say but you could just get a demo and then he just hits it back see and then no but if you haven't done damage right on the ground pound then it'll just come straight back at you right or you could say, oh, but then use the technician and the technician's turret is gone set up and then do a lot of damage. And then he's going to charge coil and it's going to go really slow. Yes, everything that the, the technician does there helps slow down something. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is getting their health bar from 100 to 0. And I was just playing the Technician recently, just to level it up, because, as you know, I'm a gunner. A gunner main and an incredibly good gunner player. And I play gunner at the extreme level. And I was switched to Technicians to, to play, because I do believe the Technician is a great class to have to complement the two gunners. But I noticed that the Technician has no real ability to stop something in the fa in right in front of your face no abilities unless it has a shotgun already out but every class that can wield a shotgun has that ability also so it doesn't really make it any more special than any other class at removing things from in front of your face the technician can set up a turret so that when things come into it it does the damage or it can throw the charge coils so things can't get to you very fast but at the end of the day they will still get to you <laughs> if you don't have the damage. And I'm using this footage here to show this issue. So the White Wolf is a great technician player and there's nothing wrong with his pick here per se. I'm playing the gunner. Obviously, as I said, in my opinion of this game, there should be two gunners in every pro team comp with the one exception of playing the pathogen level. If not, two gunners is mandatory. And this, this other gentleman uh, was playing the recon. Now, could he have made it work if he was a better player? Maybe. I don't know. But at the end of the day, in this situation, we needed firepower. Did you see how I, I cleared my side on the right and now I'm helping them? Two guys clear these two um, avenues by themselves. If the recon was a gunner, then he would be able to kill these large, these large synths, but instead he couldn't because he did not have the stopping power. The recon did not have the stopping power. And I was talking to the White Wolf about this. He said, no, but the recon, when it hits headshots, when, when the recon hits headshots, then when he hip fires, he can potentially do more damage. That, that just sounds completely 
it sounds too fiddly in the face of just go gunner. Just go gunner and do damage right now. Just go gunner and remove the thing, m remove the threat. You don't have to slow it when it's dead. You don't have to CC it when it's dead. You don't have to reveal it when it's dead. You don't have to, you know, you can run and go and get ammo when it's dead. At the end of the day, it, this is a game first. The first most important thing is survival. And the second most important thing is firepower because firepower facilitates that survival. Firepower by killing the thing that is killing you. This is very important. So. I just want to send this message from a pro Aliens Fireteam player to the Aliens Fireteam community, the brave Aliens Fireteam Elite community, that you should play Gunner and two slots in your, in your team comp should be Gunners. And I have not seen in my Aliens Fireteam Elite experience a, a reason not to do that with the one exception of the pathogen level, which I've made a tutorial video on how to do, y'all should definitely watch that, the tutorial video of how to beat the pathogen level, because you need a specific team comp that we have formulated, specific team comp, specific perks to beat that mission, and that's not easy at all. But in every other mission, when you're playing these synths, when you're playing these xenos, just go gunner. Just go gunner with the frag grenade that knocks down, you have the CC, you have the damage, and nothing can beat it. And I I know y'all are thinking, ooh, but we could play some, we could play a different team comp, we could play this team comp, we could play this team comp. Let's play some unique team comp that they, the Cold Irons put in the game to, to make it so that this team comp just actually works on this. Well, they did that for the pathogen level, but for every other level, every other mission, I have to say two gunners minimum, and then switch the other between a technician or a recon. Recon for the synths, technician for everything else, and I think you'll be good, but two gunners minimum. This is my argument, ladies and gentlemen. This is my opinion. I strongly believe from my experience in the game beating extreme missions on the first go with pro Aliens Fireteam players in the Discord below, in the Steam group below, in the Facebook group below. Y'all better join those if you're a pro Aliens Fireteam player. But in my experience, two gunners minimum. That's what it is. It's just what it is. It is the best class in the game. There is nothing that can do as much damage as the gunner, simply. Not the demolisher, because the demolisher does not do single target damage as good as the gunner. And I would not be surprised if the gunner gets nerfed, but that's another, that's another thing a boy said. A boy said, oh no, but the demolisher does more damage. No, the demolisher does not do more single target damage than the gunner. But the flamethrower, that's not a viable strategy. At high levels of play, the flamethrower is not a viable strategy because it kills everything else. It kills your entire team. You don't have the accuracy. Unfortunately, with a lot of these things, you just have to get good. Unfortunately. It, it's just like killing floor two. You can play your meme classes all you want, but at the end of the day, the most accurate class is the best. The one that you have to hit headshots and do the most damage. And that is Gunner, ladies and gentlemen. So, everybody play Gunner, everybody play Gunner. If you play three Gunner, I'm not mad at you. If you play two Gunner, I'm not mad at you. If you play one Gunner and two other different classes on a mission, I don't know what's going on there. And if that's not the pathogen mission, I would love to see your argument to not play a minimum of two Gunners. Let me know what y'all boys think about that. I'm going to see y'all boys later. And roll the outro. Leave the comments below. What do y'all boys think? Oh, y'all turn up right now. If you join the Patreon for $2.50 a month, you get a shout out on the videos and get to go to the Discord channel with the pros. Boys can't comment in or can't chat in. Unless they part of the Patreon thing. So look down below for the link and tell me what you think, boy.